The Spectre is a great mid-game option as its high piercing damage shred the rounds, but what cross path you should be going is what we're covering today. To start, the 004 Monkey Ace shoots a single stream of alternating darts and bombs, which fire 15 times per second. Each dart deals 2 damage and has 15 pierce, while each bomb deals 3 damage and has 30 pierce. Additionally, both attacks deal plus 2 damage to ceramic balloons. It should also be noted that microing this ace in particular is very effective as keeping it shooting down straight lines maximizes its higher pierce, thus making it do much more damage. Now, upgrading the Spectre to a 204 will increase its attack speed by 33% and the pierce of the darts by 25%, now making it shoot 20 times per second and the darts having 19 pierce. Compare this to the 024 Spectre which gives the ace camo detection as well as adding 15 pierce and 3 blast radius to the Spectre's bombs. Now, ever since the buff to Exploding Pineapples, there has been some talk about which cross path is better, but there is an easy way to think about this. Would you rather have plus 50% pierce on every other attack, or plus 33% attack speed on every attack? When you look at it this way, the top cross path is clearly the way to go, as attack speed is always useful, but pierce is situational. And luckily, this cross pathing decision applies to the Flying Fortress as well, as the 205 is much better, assuming you have some form of camo detection for it. How does extra range work for melee monkeys like Pat and Sada? Do they grow longer arms, or do they just lunge a little further? 